My name is Keith Cambron. In this video, I'm going to describe how to use my website, radiocheck.us. Radiocheck.us has a variety of features, uh, primarily centered around six cloud IQ software defined radio. Here we see the radios are tuned to the 80 meter band, the 40 meter band, the 20 meter band, the 15 meter band, and two short wave bands, the 19 meter and 31 meters. This is the home page of radiocheck.us and in it you'll be able to take a look at these six bands and see which bands are active at any one point in time. The radios are located in Georgetown, Texas, which is my home or QTH. Uh, let me demonstrate the home page first. As we see as I move across the band, you can see in this box in the lower right that the frequency will change, showing you uh, where my cursor is pointed in the particular band. You can slow the rate of averaging or increase it by changing the average drop down here on the lower left. So if we make it five, then five measurements will be used to average. So the spectrum displays will slow down a bit and they'll be a bit more stable. Having looked at the home page, let's go to the live radio tab. We can get there one of two ways. We can click the tab or we can double click on a band. Let's choose 40 meter band in this case. And we see the live radio tab pulled up. We're asked to enter a call sign. If you enter a call sign, it just gives me uh, a reference in case you report a bug. Uh, there's no requirement to enter a call sign if you choose not to. If you don't have a call sign, you can enter your name or you can simply skip it. And then we hit go to enter it. So here we see across the top a display that you might see in any typical receiver or transceiver, the frequency uh, that we're monitoring. Uh, the mode, in this case it's lower sideband, how much RF gain has been applied to the signal and the fact that we're in the receive mode. So we can select any of the bands from here. I've selected 40 meters as you see. Uh, here's the lower sideband mode selection. We have a range of modes we can select from and you can see them here. The default mode for that band will automatically be placed uh, in the mode uh, dialog uh, when you select the band. However, if you choose a different mode and go away from this band and come back to it, your mode will be saved. This is the FFT or spectral display. This is the waterfall here. These are slider bars that are used to tune the frequencies. What I'm going to do now is try to find a single sideband signal we can monitor. As with the home page, I'm going to increase the averaging to slow down the display a little bit to make it a little more stable. I also want to lower the signal level a little bit so we get a little better picture. So I'm going to lower the RF gain by going to this slider bar and simply moving it down. I can also change the scale if I want, but this scale seems to work fine. So with that, we know that the voice part of the 40 meter band is above 7.1 megahertz. So I'm going to increase the lower part of the scale. I'm going to adjust the span and I'm going to decrease the upper end of the band so we get a little better view of the actual voice band. This looks like a nice uh, signal right here. So I'm going to left click on it and then I'm going to move up just a bit and then we'll turn on the receive. All right, I'm screaming and I lost him now. Anyway, I'll try him again before it's over here. All right, let me go ahead and uh, pick up Josie in here. Kilo November 8th. Sounds like we're just above your signal, so I'm going to change the frequency. Red 
Mr. It's the Super Nit. It's the Super Nit. It's the very old, old Nit. It sounds like we're at about 7232.8. And I'm going to give that to you. If you'd like to look it up, it'll tell you a lot about it. It's maintained by... Okay. It's that easy. Now, you can also search, and if you see at the top of the spectral display, these gold dots, if I hit the search, then we'll move between them. And we find there's another QSO taking place at 7223. So that gives you a quick way of scanning the uh, band and finding uh, signals of interest. So I'm going to turn off the C for a moment. One of the features of the live radio is you can record and make a report uh, of the received signal. So let's go to record and record to you, my friend. this QSO. Hey, do come back and join us again there. We'll be uh, glad to have you aboard any time there. All right, there again, this is N5 BRL at the bottom of the 73 round. Now, if you were uh, uh, wanting a, to make a radio check on your own transceiver, of course, you can tune your transceiver to the band. Right. Stop that. You can tune the transceiver to the band, find your own signal, and record your own signal. So now we can play back. Let's get a report of the recording we just made. So I'm going to move the drop-down box to report, and I'll hit the go. And a pop-up window shows up, and it gives us a summary of the contact when it was made in GMT time, the frequency, the mode, uh, the S reading, a picture of the spectral display and waterfall, and then we can listen to it again. To you, my friend, and hey, do come back and join us again there. We'll be uh, glad to have you aboard any time there. All right, there again, this is N5, BRL at the bottom of the 73 round. Uh, before we close it out, any other snowbirds come now, over. <laughs> Now, if you want to save the report and send it to someone, I've written the instructions down here on how to do that. Um, and uh, you can do that and send the report to someone and say, hey, here's, here's what uh, I was able to capture on your QSO uh, off of radiocheck.us. Likewise, you can do a playback, which doesn't give you a full report, but it's very similar in the way it works. It simply gives you this simpler uh, report, and you can play it back. To you, my friend, and hey, do come back and join us again there. We'll be uh, glad to have you aboard any time there. All right, there again, this is N5, BRL at the bottom of the 73. And <clears throat> those files are downloaded to your computer if you choose to save them in a WAV format. I've shown you how to tune showing you how the spectral and waterfall displays work, how the search works, the span adjust, the RF gain, a couple of other features. Uh, you can choose your style. I like the metallic style, which you see here, but there's a classic. I'm a, typically an ICOM operator, so this is kind of modeled after the ICOM colors, uh, but that's the, the uh, classic display. Um, again, I prefer the metallic. And then you can choose whether or not you want to display the frequency divisions. I tend to like them. They give me easy guides to work from. And there's a squelch feature. Uh, the squelch can be on or off. And you can set the level of the squelch by the S level. And the audio will be muted unless you hit that S level. The squelch, when it's open, you'll see a green light. When it closes, you'll see a red light. And this is the audio adjust. When I, hit the, when I hit the audio uh, gain there, it, it starts the playback automatically, so I'm going to turn that off. But those are the features you will find on the live radio page.